Well, new tonight, we are following an incident that happened at the zoo where a bonobo hit and partially amputated one of the staff members fingers. Yeah, or Alexis Martin joins us live from the zoo with the very latest. So we know the incident happened early this morning before the zoo was opened and the caretaker was feeding the bonobos and was wearing protective gear when the bite and partial amputation happened. Gate number four, this is for a bonobo that bit someone's thumb off, the four foot bonobo monkey. Caretakers at the Cincinnati Zoo were doing their morning rounds, feeding and giving the bonobo troop their medicine. When zoo officials say a bonobo bit a zoo worker, you just heard radio traffic from when police were called to the zoo. Officials from the zoo sent Fox 19 now a statement describing what happened. It reads in part quote, during morning rounds, a bonobo bit a care team member's thumb through a protective mesh barrier while the care team member was administering medication and food to the bonobo. Bonobo troop. The care team member who sustained a complete amputation of the thumb is currently receiving medical treatment and is in stable condition. The zoo later sent out a correction stating that only part of the care team member's finger was amputated. It goes on to say, bonobos are highly intelligent and social primates and interactions with them involve established protocols and safety procedures. At no time were the bonobos outside their habitat, and per zoo policy, animal care staff and great apes do not occupy shared spaces. I spoke with a primatologist from Northern Kentucky University, Dr. Monica Wakefield. She says this behavior is unusual for bonobos. Definitely was not a, a fooding, feeding behavior. So they are primarily... Uh, Herbivores. Dr. Wakefield said she's heard of a chimpanzee biting people, but never heard of something like this happening with a bonobo. A more uh, peaceable species. Uh, they have lower aggression rates than, you know, their chimpanzee cousins, for example. Uh, so they are not typically very aggressive at all, but they are a wild animal. Right. And so uh, these things can still happen. Dr. Wakefield says it's important to remember how out of character this is for the primate. I don't think we can place any fault on the keeper or the zoo. I'm sure they were taking all precautions and it was just a freak event. But uh, bonobos are actually really quite peaceful animals normally. The Jungle Trails area of the zoo will be closed for the rest of the day, and the zoo asks that you keep their primate care team in your prayers. Live in Clifton with photojournalist Sydney Bellum, I'm Alexis Martin, Fox 19 Now. Alexis, thank you.